welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sims 4 speed build for you and I'm hoping you can't hear the rain and thunder that's going on outside right now because of course it decided to storm when I needed to actually record a voiceover and it actually... <laughs> So right before this, I actually decided that I wanted to go ahead and build something else and then maybe edit the videos at the same time. And I'm not even kidding. I was completely done with the whole exterior of the house and everything and my power went out and it was only for long enough to shut down my computer. So I, like I lost everything. So anyways, I've moved on to <laughs> just editing this video and I'm just hoping you can't hear the rain in the background. But I decided for this house that I wanted to make it like a single mother's home and I decided to go with this really pastel yellow outside and I think it looks really cute with the brick and everything and I used these windows that came with the wedding pack and I've not used those yet but I am in love with them. They're so pretty. I love the shutters and the metal detailing and I think they really look nice inside as well. You'll see that a little bit later. And I had a little bit of trouble trying to pick a door that went with the windows. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I tried so many doors trying to see which one gave me the same feeling that the windows did. <laughs> um, but I did keep the landscaping uh, pretty simple. Like I think there's like two trees on the lot and then I just kind of stuck with some plain green uh, bushes and then some low-lying bushes with like yellow flowers to help pick up some of the yellow in the siding and I decided to go with this like really pale yellow siding because I didn't want to go with like the bright like sunshine yellow because that's not I guess what I was feeling but these flowers help I think pull out some more of that yellow and then uh, that's kind of about it I put in a little bit of terrain paint I feel like it just gives it that nice touch of looking a little more realistic and then I end up just putting in the mailbox and I did go back and forth like where I wanted to put it <laughs> I feel like I always have that issue when I want to put it near like the walkway but I end up putting it over there by the tree and I think it looks really nice there and then I actually so I'm kind of with this one I feel like usually I do either like all the outside and then move in or like do the basics, do the inside, and then do the outside, but I'm actually a little bit back and forth of doing this, so you'll see me swap between the inside and outside several times. So here I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want the interior to look like, and I know it looks a little weird right now, but I ended up wanting to have like a small like laundry room. I don't usually put laundry in my builds, but this just seemed like, I don't know, like I wanted to for this one. So we have this really nice spacious like laundry room right there in the middle and so it'll it'll come together i promise it looks a little weird right now but it ends up having room for two kids i set up a two bedroom so one for the mom and then one for the two kids and i decorated it that had um like a boy and a girl and i ended up going with like traditional like pink and blue because honestly i ended up looking at swatches for beds and i liked them <laughs> so i just went with it and I feel like them being in the same room because I'm thinking their children right now makes a little bit of sense, but maybe when they get older, having their own rooms would be nice. And I'm not gonna lie, I was lucky enough not to have to share um, <laughs> my bedroom with my sister. But anyway, so if you wanna expand the house once the kids grow up or you know move into a new house, you know, that's obviously something you can do. I feel like I'm telling you how to play the game and <laughs> you can play however you want to. And this build is already up on the Sims 4 gallery if you want to download it and do whatever you want with it. Um, under my ID, Spice and Sprinkles, all one word, all lowercase, and it is down in the description if you would like to see it written out. And I did the same thing that I've been doing lately, and I did put actually a family in this home and take the screenshots. And I feel like it's always really fun to do, especially when there's like, children's sims because they just have I feel like fun activities like swinging or whatever playing like that just make for really good screenshots and I do have like a place for them to hang out and I mean there's room to play in their bedroom but there's also space inside of the house because there actually ended up being a lot of space in the living room area so I allotted some of that to a small office and a playroom basically and then I even like I'm telling you when I was doing this build I don't know I was so back and forth about the inside and outside I hadn't even put windows on the rest of the house yet so I added some windows here in the kitchen and I ended up doing just kind of a long kitchen like a galley style kitchen basically and having an entrance into that laundry room 
through that side and the other side so it's hopefully good routing for your sims to like walk around but i pulled the yellow from the outside in here and so we ended up with these gorgeous yellow counters and then i took the cue of having the blue curtains and used a lot of blue in here as well so i just kind of went all in on the blue and yellow the kids room doesn't follow that but the mother's room does and then I just put in a small dining table up against this wall because I felt like that kind of worked really nicely. And then we actually end up also putting in like a homework area here. And I'll talk a little bit more about that like when I get there. But I did feel a little bit back and forth about how I wanted to finish out this space. So I ended up putting this half wall in to make the kitchen a little bit larger and allowed me to have a few more things on the counter but still for your sim to have space to cook. And then I did add in like these columns to again help just make it a little cozier and define the space a little bit more and actually I know I feel like I usually don't have homes where the front door is not super visible from the front like I have this one kind of around the corner so I thought that was a really nice like change of pace for me and figuring out how I wanted that floor plan to be and then trying to figure out exactly what kind of curtains I wanted I did I actually ended up keeping them like long curtains but those skinny ones and I think that worked pretty nicely and then I used those kind of throughout the house and then I actually did end up using that blue and yellow wallpaper that you saw me have for just a second. I thought about bringing in the brick from outside but I felt like the tone just didn't match like the rest of the aesthetic so I did use this but I used it kind of as an accent throughout the home. So I just use it on this wall. I use an accent wall in the living room for it too and then the mom's bathroom I believe also uses that wallpaper because I figured that's something she really liked <laughs> and so she wanted it in several places throughout the house. And so, because I wanted it to have this like cozy vibe, but also like a slightly modern, like, you know, having this more intricate wallpaper with also like a pattern in the rug. And then I had a little bit of trouble too trying to figure out what I wanted to put on this wall, but we ended up using the tapestry that I forgot what actually what pack came with it. And you can see I kind of like got sidetracked and ended up <laughs> going and putting some aprons over in the kitchen. I thought maybe the kids and the mom like cook together, that kind of thing. And then I was thinking about putting plants on the table, but I ended up using those like canisters that came with cottage living because I thought that was like really nice, like keeping stuff on the table. And then I, like I said, I'm kind of a little all over place in this space trying to figure out exactly what I wanted. And I think I was feeling a little bit indecisive, but I think it turned out really awesome in the end. And I love how the plant hangs there kind of in that space between the dining and kitchen area. And I like that it's like kind of nice and open there to the rest of this living space because I feel like everybody always hangs out in a kitchen like when you have people over so I feel like that makes a whole lot of sense for this space to be open and then I wanted to have like an entrance cabinet of some kind so I went back and forth on what I wanted to use and I put some of those cabinets over in the living space because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use those later so then I don't have to go find them again <laughs> but this one had a nice blue and yellow swatch so it won <laughs> so we ended up putting this here and I put like backpacks on it that kind of thing like maybe that's where you know the kids end up coming and sitting down all their stuff when they come home and where they keep their shoes and jackets and then I end up I think at this point I start putting some things on the wall getting ready for that like kids like homework space and my idea behind this was not only did I have room here <laughs> but I also felt like maybe the mom ended up like cooking dinner at night and the kids like would sit there and work on their homework while she was cooking or doing something in the kitchen so they were nearby so if they needed help then she could help them I was kind of thinking the mom was a teacher so I think I have like a teaching award plaque like over in the office area that kind of thing I don't know why it just felt very like cozy and nice and and that kind of thing <laughs> um, I was back and forth I went through a lot of different occupations kind of in my head trying to figure out what I wanted um, I had thought about making her a scientist as well but I ended up going with teacher and I actually haven't really played with the teacher profession very much in the sims I've done it like maybe once or twice but just not a whole lot but I included a lot of like books and binders and things around here like this is kind of where they kept all of that material and then just adding in like a little plant and then I thought the chalkboard was really adorable like maybe that's where she keeps her grocery list that kind of thing like I have a little notebook that's like magnetic that sticks on my fridge and that's where I put stuff like as I'm cooking or 
just whatever around the house. I'm like, oh, I need to buy this. I put it on there so I don't forget because I will always forget. I'll remember that I need to buy something, but I won't remember what it was. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but I feel like if I don't write it down, I won't remember. And then I just thought having some baked goods and like a bread box on the counter. And then in here with the laundry, I ended up pulling in again the yellow cabinets from the kitchen and I don't know what was going on with the washer and dryer but at some point they looked like they were different swatches like just slightly and I don't know why my guess is it's some weird lighting thing I swear I checked like four times they are the same swatch but they just looked a little off and I don't know because the lamp the lamp like is right there in the middle like I don't know what was causing that to happen but Anyways, I thought we'd put like cleaning stuff in here and those baskets on the wall came in like a blue and yellow swatch, which I had no idea. So that worked out really well. And then I thought over here, I wanted to put like a little pantry. Like, I don't think I've ever done this before, but just having some shelving, like maybe that's where they kept extra stuff. And so I ended up having, <laughs> I had to go through debug. It was a whole thing. I, it took me a long time to actually get stuff in there. But I tried to pull stuff out that was that also like wouldn't spoil. Like I know we like I found a lot of like different like tomatoes, cabbages, like pumpkins, that kind of thing. But I was trying to keep it to where like it wouldn't go bad, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. So I put like a lot of different like seasonings, and we have like coffee beans, and then like I'm not sure if that's actually from a bar. I don't know if that bottle <laughs> like if that's where that came from, but. Uh, it kind of looks like olive oil to me, so keeping that kind of stuff in here. And then we have like a cereal box, some cans. I end up putting some of the like juice fizz, I think is what it's called, from Eco Living, like a pack of those, and like water bottles, stuff like that, like things maybe they just kept in here. And then, like I said, a lot of sp uh, several spices, I think technically that came with, um, what was it, City Living, I believe. And like a teapot, maybe that's just where they keep this stuff. And so I just kind of put a bunch of things here that look like what they would use. And then having a basket down below of different like blankets and things like that. And I thought having some laundry just sitting there by the basket just was kind of appropriate. Like having kids around the house, stuff just like ends up places. If you play with the house, um, of course, if you don't have laundry day, you can of course just do whatever you want with this space. And... Like, see, I don't know, like, why those, <laughs> why the washer and dryer were doing that. Um, but I ended up, again, putting, like, another seating space there so that you can sit down, put your shoes on, that kind of thing when you're leaving. And trying to just find, again, like, a plant or something in there. And at this point, I just have random stuff <laughs> in this living room space trying to figure out what I wanted. And then I did end up wanting to put in a back porch. And so trying to figure out which door I wanted to lead out there. And I really wanted it to be there to be a lot of glass on it because I wanted you to be able to see through it and see outside and then trying to figure out I, I was originally not wanting to put the tv like on or above the fireplace I wanted it to kind of be separate but it ended up going there <laughs> because things are just not fitting quite right and then I actually ended up putting the fireplace where the chimney is which is shocking because I feel like if I if I even remember to put a chimney on a build, it doesn't end up in the same place as the actual fireplace. But I ended up putting in here like a small office space and like just a bunch of like clutter that I feel like maybe would go along with being a teacher. So I think I put like a degree on the wall and that plaque and then I had like the files on the wall and I think I even used like like that whiteboard, the calendar and stuff on it. I included that as well. But trying to figure out where I wanted to fit everything definitely took me a minute because <laughs> I basically just pulled out a bunch of stuff that I thought I wanted to use and then just started moving things things around and then um, I really want like I thought about putting it centered on the wall but then I like the idea of actually having maybe some more skill building stuff and I actually put several skill building things in this lot so your sims will have plenty to do here I end up putting an easel right there so you can do some painting I thought maybe that was like a mom's the mom's hobby we even have a chess table I'll be adding that later planting outside so there's plenty to do <laughs> in this home which I, I try to do because I feel like, you know, having Sims in a home and then not having anything for them to do kind of, you know, 
can be a little difficult. <laughs> like how you occupy them, how do they get their skills? And this is me just trying to figure out where I wanted to put stuff. But I definitely knew I wanted to keep that painting because I thought that was maybe like a painting she had made of her and her kids. And I didn't really give much thought either to like how she became a single mom, whether she decided to adopt kids and she didn't want to be in a relationship or if she was widowed or divorced or anything like that. But that can be up to you and if that even matters a detail that you have i know a lot of people like to actually build in those stories and possibly put the dad in the world somewhere that kind of thing but you know i'll let you decide how you want to play with your sims but those are just some ideas that i had and then i thought this was a nice like while maybe the mom was working grading or doing whatever that this was also a place for the kids to hang out and maybe play so they're in the same space and she can keep an eye on them and that kind of thing because I just feel like that's like, I feel like that's like what my mom did. <laughs> like she was like, like I we were always usually within eyesight of her, especially when we were younger, um, to make sure we weren't getting into trouble. <laughs> um, not that I was a troublemaker, I don't think, when I was a kid. I'm sure my mom will call me after this and be like, Rachel, really? Um, but I ended up putting this, actually a pretty large back porch here. I ended up putting a grill out here. So you could also, you know, prepare meals here and eat out here. I put that really cute like table with the umbrella. I feel like I don't use that often because I feel like the umbrella like takes up a lot of space. But I also ended up putting one of the like plant stand things that came with that plant kit. And then I definitely wanted to include some activities for the kids. And so I do end up putting a swing set and the monkey bars back here. I thought about using that like tent item, but I end up getting rid of that and actually putting in some planter boxes so that your, um, so that the mother can actually sit there and garden or do whatever um, that she may want to do. And then who knows, maybe she's into making her own food. Like that could be a cool lot trait to put here. I didn't do that, but of course you can add them if you want to. And then I end up putting, I move that over in a minute and end up putting in that plant stand that I was talking about. And it's funny, I do end up moving that stuff on the wall a little bit later because I realized I hadn't put windows on that half of the house. Cause like when I started building the rest of the house or like decorating it, I realized like, why are these rooms so dark? Because there's not windows. Like I didn't put windows <laughs> like, I don't know why I was so all over the place, but I've actually never used this tile in the bathroom, but it is so, so cute that I was like, I have to use it. I remember seeing it the other day when I was building and it wasn't right for that house, but I was like, I want to use it. Like, I have to use this. So I actually ended up putting two sinks in here. So the kids, like this is pretty luxurious. The kids each have their own sink, which is like, you know, pretty nice to be honest, like having that kind of space and then just having this really adorable tile. And I ended up scooting the bathtub like into the wall just a little bit so that actually you can see the tile all the way around instead of like the tile that comes with the bathtub and then jumping over to the mom's bathroom I believe I end up just putting a shower in hers I don't put the bathtub but since there's a bathtub you can always add like a dog or, or have toddlers instead and be able to take care of them properly although I think you can wash toddlers in sinks now so you know, that's always an option. But then again, keeping with that like blue and yellow theme, I think it worked out really well in this space and is a really great space for her. And then just adding in, I swear I use it all the time, that little <laughs> candle tray. And then I did leave the hallway really simple. Um, you can of course add like stuff that maybe the kids decorate, things like that. I feel like that would be pretty cool here. And then adding in windows because I remembered we needed some. And then uh, this is this ends up being the kids room and so we have two beds in here and then I do this like interesting built-in closet kind of situation on the wall around the window and then so I decided I wanted to use this bed and then I just went with these two swatches because I liked them but it was definitely a struggle trying to figure out what wallpaper I wanted to use because the beds were so different and like how I was going to tie those together and not look insane and since both of the beddings had like blue in it, I decided to use blue wallpaper and kind of a light blue and then using the little end tables and those cute little lamps. And they had swatches that match really well with the beds, which I really like, it worked out really well. <laughs> 
and then this like seating area I created I put like a little bench and then I ended up building up like two closets on the sides one for each of them and there were <laughs> blue and pink swatches so I just like basically went all in with the blue and pink just because it worked out that way and then I was looking for like kids clothing and they have that one but I don't think they have another one so they end up looking like they have very similar clothing but it's just because that's what I had to work with and then just including maybe some toys that they might be interested in and then I I thought about putting like pink and blue curtains and like I was really trying to go all in but we just went with white curtains and then I actually did put that like clutter item on the ground like their their room's kind of messy and then just putting like an extra pillow there and I do include a rug in there as well I like putting that because I'm thinking maybe if they like play on the floor or something like that like there's a space to do that and then I tried to just put some stuff on the wall to kind of like personalize their space like maybe like the kid drew that stuff or whatever just something to make it a little more personalized for them and then using those those lights I did pink and blue um it's the most insane I feel like kids room I may have ever made <laughs> And for the mom's room, again, using that wallpaper to only on one wall and then just keeping it really simple. I just end up putting a dresser in here and a mirror and with some end tables and just pulling in that yellow some more. And I think, you know, it turned out really well. And I don't use this wallpaper very often, but I do love it. I just feel like it's such a statement to, to have that wallpaper that I have to use it sparingly and not everywhere because it's just so much but I just felt like it worked really well with this house and then just putting in a rug here to pull in some of that blue that was on the wall and then that's kind of about it for this house so I've got some awesome screenshots coming up for you if you enjoyed this build I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you want to see more like it and of course you are welcome to put comments down below that have like build suggestions things you want to see me make or that you want to play within the game or even if you don't play sims just something that you want to see feel free to leave those down below I'd love to read them but I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody